before you attach the belly, you may be wondering which way do you attach the belly? So this goes back to the concept of right versus wrong. The right side is the side where it looks like there's a bunch of V-like stitches in the round. And the wrong side will have things that look like horizontal bars in it. So you're going to want to attach the belly so that the right side is facing out. And you may also have a yarn tail from the beginning of your piece that's hanging out back here. Don't worry about that. You can just hide it behind all of the belly. If it is too long though, then I would recommend cutting it a little bit. Um, I probably wouldn't cut it any shorter than this because you don't want it accidentally unraveling. And then now it's a manageable length that it would definitely get hidden behind the belly when you So what we're gonna do is put the needle into a spot in between two stitches and then bring it out on the other side of the stitch and then pull it tight and see how this yarn tail came out of this stitch on the belly. We want to bring the yarn tail up through the stitch to its left. So we're going to put it in this way. We're going to put it in from the top to the bottom of the stitch now. Remember to pull it tight every time. And we're going to sew this on a little bit differently than how you will sew on the other parts of the body. So watch carefully. The yarn tail is now coming out of this stitch. So we're going to put the needle into the stitch immediately next to it from the bottom to the top. Pull tight. See how you can't even tell that there is yarn in between these stitches. Now we're going to look back on the penguin and find the spot that this best lines up with that's on the actual penguin body. Put it through that hole and the belly is starting to curve so I'm not going to bring the, the needle through immediately next to it. I'm going to bring it a little bit down because I'm trying to follow the natural curve of the belly stitches. So I'll pull that and now again and again. Now I'm going to alternate between bringing the needle from the top to the bottom of a stitch and then from the bottom to the top of a stitch. That's the next stitch. See? All right, so I have reached almost the last stitch. Uh, I can tell because I can see that there's some yarn coming out of this stitch over here. So we're going to put the needle back into the penguin body one last time. Bring it out um, vaguely where the following stitch is. For good measure. I'm going to put it through the very first stitch again. All right, now I'm going to lock this yarn in there. The way I'm going to do that is put the needle back into exactly the same hole that it came from, which was this, and then push through to some arbitrary other point of the penguin so that this yarn gets stuck on the stuffing inside. And you want to pull tight, but not too tight, because see if you pull really tight, you start indenting the other side of your amigurumi. You can just massage it out to make it that again. Um, and since I have so much extra yarn, I'm just going to do it again to another point in the penguin to just tangle up the yarn in there some more. And there we go. Now you just need to cut the yarn as close as possible to the body and even though you can still see the yarn a little bit here don't worry you just gotta massage the penguin body so it disappears 